Hey everybody, my name is Natalie Duncan Edmonds. I wanted to thank you for listening to this episode of The Morning Show. I'm the creator, the producer, and the host of the show. We want you to check out our website. It's themorningshowwithnatalie.com. You can go to that website. You can see all about our sponsors, all about the show. You can even listen to live episodes while they're going on right there from the, the website. Another way to listen to the show live is go to Live365. You can download that app and just search for The Morning Show. It's right there. Super easy. We want you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, if you will. That way you can keep up with what's going on on The Morning Show. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. My name is Natalie Duncan Emmons. You are listening to The Morning Show. And I've been saying for weeks we were going to do this. I told you we'd get them on here. And today, finally, we have them. The Port City Quartet, we've got Mr. Terry Carter with us. And I am delighted. Terry, are you with us? I'm very much delighted, Natalie. And I've been looking forward to this interview as well. I appreciate so much you, much you playing our music and getting us out there in the forefront. And uh, I've heard nothing but great things about you. And Les Butler said, now, whatever you do, you need to collect with uh, you need to connect with Natalie. This is very, very important. I said, I will, I promise. <laughs> Look, I love Les Butler. I'm a huge fan of his. He's a good guy. And anybody connected with Les, well, that's a friend of mine. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Yeah, Les has been so good to us, Natalie, in so many ways. And, of course, uh, he's putting together the Real Southern Gospel Quartet, which I'm the baritone singer of that group. And uh, it's more of a promotional group, you know, but looking forward to recording uh, in Nashville next month. And, uh, looking for great things for Port City. I tell you, the Lord is just opening up so many doors, and to God be the glory, Natalie. And for you to play our music, and I know that you're very selective in what you play, and it's an honor, and I mean this from my heart, it's an honor that you would call me and want to do this interview. I really mean that. We are selective. I really think on the morning show we played the elite. I I really do, and I mean that in a good way. And we think that the Port City Quartet belongs right on this show with the very best. That's, oh, that's how much we think so it much. And I did not realize, I've been hearing about the Real Southern Gospel Quartet, and I didn't know you were a part of that. So I, I'm the baritone singer. And, uh, yeah, Les called me one day on a Saturday. I'll never forget it. It's been a while back. And said, Terry, said, uh, would you be interested in being the baritone singer? for uh, the Real Southern Gospel Quartet to represent the Real Southern Gospel Music Radio Network. And I said, absolutely, I would. So he said, I'm looking at, you know, at two or three different people here. He said, but I want to tell you, you're in the running. So he just called me one day on a Saturday and said, look, man, you're in. He said, if you want it, you're in. And so we go to, we start recording in Nashville next month, and uh, the tracks pretty much are already done, I think. And they, they got some finishing touches to put on them, but... Uh, we're looking forward to getting that out, and uh, and then of course Port City uh, is a part of the Butler Music Group, as mm -hmm. you know, and uh, Les promotes our music, and we're just thrilled uh, to be a part of uh, Butler Music Group. But we're thrilled to know we've got people like Natalie on our team. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm there, and that's why I like Les. He's got good taste. Well, I want to talk about Port City. Uh, sure. you know, I, did, I did a little research, looked it up, but I'm I'm going to let you guys or let you tell me about the group because I just I just want to know how you got started, how long you've been singing. Just yeah. tell us the basics about Port City. I want our listeners to know about you. Okay, I, I appreciate that, Natalie. I started singing in 1972. I'm celebrating 50 years of singing this wow. month, actually, and uh, I started out singing with a group called the Singing Samaritans. It was Bonnie mm -hmm. English and Michael English, myself, yeah. and some uh, guys from our local church there. We were all just teenagers, you know. Mike, I think, was 11, and we were like 14, me and Bonnie were. And mm. uh, so his dad, you know, uh, put a group together called the Singing Samaritans. And then I was there for several years. And then in 1979, I helped form a group called the Anchorman. Yeah, and I remember I, the Anchorman. That was a big deal. Yeah, yeah, the Lord really blessed us. And I was there two different times. I was there a total of 25 years, and um, I went into solo ministry and doing some preaching uh, back uh, in early uh, 2000, and uh, or actually when I left the Anchorman, and uh, I did that for about four or five years, and I, I did some preaching, and I also did some solo dates, and then in uh, the early part of 2002, I helped form a group called Adoration Quartet, which I was there for about nine years, and then... In uh, 
and, and, and I never thought I'd be back with Anchorman. It's kind of crazy, but uh, I got a call from, from Tim one day, the guy that ran the group at the time, and he said, uh, Terry, would you be interested in coming back full-time with Anchorman? So I went back again for almost seven years, and then uh, I left the group. I, I was at a crossroads, to be honest with you, Natalie. I didn't know what God had in store for me. I knew I was either going to do one or two things, probably do, go back doing solo and preaching, or either uh, hopefully form a group and just kind of scale back on the dates because we were doing over 200 dates a year. And, and I'm, I'm in my 60s now. I'm 64. So, But at that time, I was 59. And uh, so I left the road with the anchorman, and uh, I ended up in the hospital, and I was in there for 29 days. I had open-heart surgery, had a valve replaced, and a lot of things were wrong with me. I didn't know that was going on in my body. So – I got my health straight, and, or, and and thank God for doctors, but thank God for the great physician because he really yeah. touched me. He yeah. really touched me. And I didn't know if I'd ever sing again, to be honest with you. I didn't know what the future held when I was in that hospital for all that time. And then when I got, I got a call uh, from a buddy of mine that I was with year, 30 years ago, and he said, Terry, I know you talked about maybe wanting to put a group together. Let's let's put this group together. So laying in a hospital bed in Wilmington, North Carolina, I started putting a group together. <laughs> mm, and mm. so I, I began to call people, and God just worked it out, sent me some great guys. And uh, the long, long, long story short, uh, we formed Port City Quartet. And, of course, I'm from Wilmington, North Carolina, and that is known as the Port City of North Carolina. So uh, we, we came up with our name, Port City Quartet. And right now, our current lineup, uh, I'm singing the baritone and doing the MC, and I'm Terry Carter. I have uh, Rick Vance, sings the tenor. He's from Greensboro, North Carolina. And then my lead singer is Michael Hodge, and he's been singing pretty much all of his life. He's he's 50, but his dad was a uh, an evangelist and had, had a family group, and they traveled all over the country. So he came with me. He's singing the lead. And then a gentleman by the name of Tim Perry, um, Man, you're talking about a bass singer. He's well, singing the bass for us. He's from Zebulon, North Carolina. Well, and I don't want to interrupt you, Mr. Terry, but let me tell you, when yes. we played this song, Arise, on the show, there's hardly a day goes by that, that we don't play it. And, and I always, you know, when we're introducing it or at the end, I mean, I always say, just listen to that bass singer. <laughs> the group in and of itself is impressive. This, there's this huge, thick sound. I mean, I love a quartet sound. And it's an incredible, thick quartet sound. But now this bass singer, I don't know where you found him or where he came from. <laughs> he's a great that, guy, too, let me tell you. He's, a, he's some kind of bass singer. The show. Yeah, it's, <laughs> and it's fabulous. And, and when we listen to it, I'm just swept away with that bass singer. And I always have to say something about it. Just listen to that bass. I mean, <laughs> he's a prize. You yeah, he, to hold on to him. Yeah, he's something else. Matter of fact, I just called the phone with him a while ago. Uh, he went through COVID for about four months, and to be honest with you, he's lately has been having a lot of problems uh, because of the COVID. But God is touching him, and Natalie, he's coming around, and he's uh, started back touring with us again. And uh, to, to say the least, he's just an incredible bass singer and an incredible Christian man, too. His name is Tim Perry, and uh, yeah, I have to agree with you, one of the greatest bass singers that I've ever sung with. You know, I've sung with some great ones, Jeff Chapman, yeah. Will yeah. Lane, and the list goes on, you know. Well, he's right there in the top, and y'all need to take good care of him and doctor him up. Don't let anything happen to him. I know. Let <laughs> me tell you, he's feed, feed him whatever steak he wants, right? <laughs> whatever he wants, I say he gets it. And there that's you your go. responsibility, Terry. You take care of that bass singer. It's I will. Great. I promise you I will. I, yeah. I, uh, I'll say this. A guy that has so much integrity, he really does. And him and his wife both, they're just, they're a big part of our group. His wife, Pat, is our product manager. She takes care of all of our product and on the road. And just, I was so blessed to, to, to get both of them, to be honest with you. Yeah. And so, yeah, uh, we're blessed to have him. And I'm blessed to have all these guys who are just fine Christian men. And the Lord's really blessing them. And to God be the glory. I'm just excited about the future, Natalie. Well, this quartet can hold their own with any quartet out there in gospel music right now. I believe that. I'm not just saying it. It's truly how I feel. And we love this song. I want to play it. 
Where'd you get this song, Arise? Are y'all songwriters? Did you write it? Well, let, it you? you'll be familiar with the writer. You might remember this name, Diane Wilkinson. Oh, sure. She wrote the song, We Shall See Jesus, just as he has many hit songs mm-hmm. for the cathedrals, kingdom airs. And so about two and a half years, Natalie, uh, it's probably been that long ago, she heard us on Facebook at a, at a church service, you know, and she contacted um, one of the members of the group at the time and said, listen, I want to send you guys some songs. And uh, and I'm just kind of repeating what she said. She said, I feel an anointing on this group. And uh, she knew the keyboard player. His name was Joe Lane. He was playing keyboard for us at the time. She said, Joe, is there any way I can get you some songs? I, I want to get you some of my songs to, to, to review. And, I mean, when he came to me and said, look, Diane Wilkinson is interested in writing songs for Port City, I about yeah. jumped out of my skin. You know? That's a big deal. Yeah, that's yeah, a big deal. Yeah, that was a big deal. And uh, so she sent us several songs. Uh, she wrote that song, Arise. She also wrote the song, An Empty Cross, uh, An Empty Tomb, that we yeah. do. Well, let's play this song. We play it all the time, and I want to play it again today. Diane wrote a good one, but I don't think it would be the same if anybody else had sang it except for y'all. It had to be the Port City Quartet singing it, and we love it. Here it is. Uh, Let's play it right now. Port City Quartet, our special guest today, singing this great song. All right. Jesus looked at the child, lying still on her bed, not one breath and the life in her eyes. When he touched her, she woke with these words that he said, live again, child, it's time to arise. Oh, later on, Lazarus died, Jesus wept for his friend, he Well, Terry, there's that great song. I just want to say that you've made our, not just our morning, you've made our week incredibly special. We have anticipated this for a while now. So thank you for spending your time and your Wednesday morning here on the morning show. It's been a whole lot of fun. It's been my pleasure, and thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this great show. And I appreciate you so much, Natalie, for playing our music. And I want to thank the folks for requesting Port City Quartet music. It means a lot. We love it. We're going to keep playing it. And before we leave today, let's play one more. You mentioned that Diane wrote an empty cross, an empty tomb. So let's go back and we'll end this out with one more. Terry, you've got a friend here on the morning show. Don't forget it. Hey, you got some friends over here, Port City Quartet. We love you, Natalie. Thank you <laughs> so you, much Terry. for all you we'll do, do for us. We'll do it again soon. We're going to do it again. Bye, Terry. God bless you. Bye-bye. Going out with an empty cross, an empty tomb. One more by Port City. Thank you so much, Natalie. 
it's been a lot of fun. One day God would send his son to right the wrong that sin had done. On a hill where they would nail him to a cross. He wept and bled and died that day. God would turn his face away. And the angels sang as Jesus paid it all. And in the cross and in the tomb, millions come and still there's room. As he had prophesied, Jesus rose to bring new life. Death was defeated.